Hello, my name is Jose Fuentes. How are you? I'm a Sierra, I'm a psychic. How you doing? I just uh, wanted to make a brief video of what's going on. We're going to leave all the uh, uh, world events on my channel. A lot of the, a lot of the videos are basically with subtitles. So if you want to know something about what's going on, what I said, there's a lot of things. I'm up to almost 30 predictions in less than 20, what's that? In less than 21 days. I mean, that's ridiculous. I think that we're gonna, the pace we're going, I believe I'm gonna probably surpass, surpass the uh, prediction that I gave at the beginning of the year. I was thinking about 100 predictions this year since I got almost close to 70 predictions last year. I just wanted to augment that um, maybe maybe by 10%, something like that, 15%. It turns out to be a ridiculous amount of predictions that are coming into place that I said already between the ones that didn't fulfill last year and the ones that, full, that they're, they're starting to uh, uh, materialize this year. I believe we pray it's very possible that we get one prediction per day. This is just ridiculous. I never expected that. So this channel is a, a, it's a making a, 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 a making predictions machine, you know. So we'll we'll go we'll go from uh, uh, from one prediction at a time, but it's coming it's coming to uh, um, uh, to be a just an unbelievable amount of uh, events that are just uh, uh, happening right now, and I hope that you put the subtitles in some of the videos and happen to uh, uh, realize that everything that I said in this channel, normally, normally, and sometimes is very unfortunate, but usually takes place and becomes reality. So let's talk about football a little bit. We're gonna talk about we're gonna we're gonna start with the uh, African Cup. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people are um, they don't they don't have an idea of what's going on there. But that's uh, there is the African Cup of Nations, like the uh, um, the um, uh, Euro Cup that normally plays. Uh, um, the normally sorry play it's it's been played I believe every two years. Then same with the African Cup. There's some uh, some great teams. I uh, I said that. In uh, um, U.S. 2026, an African team is going to do extremely well. I thought that uh, I thought they could go to the semifinals. I don't see that, but no, what I see doesn't necessarily have to be what happened, especially in uh, in uh, uh, in events like that. So we'll see. We're gonna uh, keep our uh, fingers crossed. I enjoy the African teams. I think they're they're phenomenal. I think that that's what um, those guys they give an H to France, and that's why France got the uh, first World Cup. And that's why France got the second World Cup and almost get the third, the third star when they play with Argentine. So I believe that uh, with Argentina. So I believe that uh, the African players are some of the most complete, best conditioned players in the world. So let's talk about what's going on. I'm seeing that uh, I'm seeing really, really that Senegal is gonna take is gonna take the lead. And uh, I also think Morocco is gonna be is gonna be one of those one of those two teams are gonna be the teams that are gonna win this tournament. Probably they play the final. Uh, we'll see what happens. But Senegal is coming back. It's another. It's a team that I'm not too familiar with the players, but in my in my uh, clairvoyance, I'm seeing that that's a team that's gonna take it. Be aware of it. Being the look of it. I'm not watching the games. I'm sorry, probably watching some of the games. I think that's a great tournament. Don't disqualify him. You know, try to support that that African Cup of Nations. That's a phenomenal, phenomenal tournament. And my prediction is that Senegal will take it, or Morocco, one of the two, are gonna be the ones that are gonna take this one. That it's gonna end up pretty soon. I think there's they 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 still they still uh um they still on the tournament, but uh, little by little it's gonna come to an end. So my prediction is that Senegal or Morocco will win. I'm gonna get Senegal 80%, Morocco 20%. We're gonna be Kind of like aligning ourselves in terms of uh, who wins what, but um, these are my thoughts. These are my uh, um, uh, basically uh, clairvoyance, if you want to call it. You know, in terms of what uh, what I see on that tournament. Now, let's talk about the things that uh, they take in place. I see that Manchester City is uh, is, is is recapping now. I believe that um, they're gonna they're gonna start uh, uh, climbing up. Climbing up the ladder, the ladder little by little in terms of like the way they play, in terms of like how they, how they, uh, uh, um, their players are are clustering, you know, in 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 in, in evolving little by little. I think that they have a weak start now. They they reshaping themselves. 
Don't uh, disqualify Liverpool. I said that's uh, that's a team that I'm giving a lot of energy to um, with Aston Villa. It's going to be a close, a very close tournament. I just want to let you know, I think that uh, um, Arsenal is going up again. It's just that uh, it, it's, it's, you can't, it's the problem with Aston Villa is that um, um, notwithstanding the amount of energy that I'm giving them, you know, for them to really, to really uh, go and, 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 and play and hopefully, and hopefully get that, uh, get their um, win, win the league. It's very hard because they make a lot of mistakes and uh, Dibu Martinez can can be saving them for everything. So it's gonna be they have to be an ex, there has to be an extremely extremely focused team. You know I don't know much of the players, but I know that uh, they can afford mistakes like that. And I see their defense is very weak. I see Liverpool line by line becoming the best the best team in the league. Okay, but I have to say I have to say that I can I can go against my predictions or my uh, what I see as a seer. It's very hard that Manchester City will 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 not become the champion. Um, I think they're gonna be the champions again. It's gonna be the best team in the world. I think they're gonna they're gonna catch up and they're gonna be probably the team that's gonna take the tournament as well as the um, as well as the um, um, UEFA League. That um, it's gonna it's gonna lead to um, to a lot of a lot of great games where I believe they're gonna be the champions. I said that once. I said that twice. Manchester City, I believe, is going to be the champion of the Premier League, um, in spite of the fact that Liverpool is just is just is just doing excellent. However, I think that somewhere, somehow, somewhat along the lines, we're going to see Manchester City executing and taking care of business the way they know how, and that's going to be the end of that tournament for the year or for the season. Now, I want to let you know that uh, one prediction that already came into a uh, closing, I think we're going to say prediction given, prediction fulfilled is the one in, 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 in Netherlands. I said that PSB, which is my team, was going to win the league. Don't waste your time with anything else. PSB is going to take it. That's a prediction that already came into conclusion. Uh, it's one of the predictions I already put on the uh, list of uh, predictions that I gave because I don't think anybody's gonna catch on that team. That team is gonna is he, he, they capitalize everything they have. They start playing strong. They uh, they continue strong. They're gonna end strong. So um, in the Netherlands, in the uh, in in that league, I'm gonna tell you that PSB is gonna be the champions. They're not gonna be. There's no way anybody can stop that team. So that give that give that uh, uh, prediction as a uh, concrete prediction and it's the end of it there's i don't know how many games uh, they have more but nobody's gonna nobody's gonna surpass the team it's gonna be impossible to do that another prediction that's pretty much given and it's pretty much um fulfilled i'm not gonna put on my list of predictions yet but i'm just gonna let you know my team too my it, this is a year where all my teams are doing great leverkusen leverkusen it's gonna take the german the german title okay of the, of the Bundesliga that's the team that's gonna win that's the team myself is gonna win and that's another prediction given that's another prediction fulfilled now we're gonna go to Spain it's getting crazy in Spain it's a lot a lot going on the same team um, uh, the Manchester City uh, brothers uh, Girona it's going strong my prediction was that a team that nobody saw coming was gonna win the league I'm gonna I'm gonna basically stick with that I'm going to be basically, basically, I'm going to adhere by what I said. And I'm going to tell you that that team is going to be the, the, the champions of the Spanish League. Crazy, because nobody saw him coming. And I was the only one who said it. I said on my Spanish videos, there you go. They're just uh, head to head with the Real Madrid, which is having a, a tremendous season. It's going to, Real Madrid, is, I always admire the team, no matter what. But I believe that um, they're going to be, they're going to be stopped by this team and they're going to be stopped by Manchester City. Why well, believe that uh, if they don't, if they, unless they see themselves in the semifinals, I think the Manchester City and Real Madrid could play the final of the Champions League. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. There's a lot of the teams that they're there and that we give giving ener energy to. But I think that in, in, in the Spanish League, I believe that Girona will take it. We'll see what happens. I'm watching the games closely. Let's let's wait and see what's going on. The other the other thing that you guys are gonna see is the uh, um, the Italian league. I said that Inter was gonna take was gonna take the lead, and Inter I see that's the team that's gonna win it. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna go one one step at a time. It's a very close league. Juventus is always there. Napoli is already I think they're done. 
I think they played today a game where I'm 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 seeing I'm seeing Inter champions the uh, um the championship game I believe that the two teams play but that's but that's what I'm seeing that's what I um that's what I predicted Inter will win the uh Calcio and and I believe that's gonna be that's gonna be a uh, team that um, will be a huge contender for the UEFA as well. So um, one of the things that I just want to say and uh, um, want to just uh, put an end to it, it's what's happening now in the World Cup. I said I was going to give you the semifinals. These are, these are the teams that I see going all the way. I know we, we, we basically, a few, few years, few years uh, um, basically behind of the, um, of the uh, main event. But uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't matter that I don't see that I don't see what I see. So I'm gonna give you the predictions so you guys know exactly what's what's happening. This is what I'm seeing. Obviously, England is the team to beat. You know, nothing is impossible. They could beat England. I I, I always tell my uh, my viewers that I don't believe in destiny. Destiny is not is not something I believe in because we can change we can change our destinies in many different ways. And I believe that uh, notwithstanding. We have England as the main as the main team to win the uh, um, to win the tournament. I still think that uh, some somewhere along the line, you know, it could be it could be some of these three teams that I'm going to give you now the champion. So it's going to be obviously between those four teams. I'm still seeing England victorious, you know. But we'll see what happens. It's going to be a tough event. I could be wrong, but I'm going to give you the four teams that I see on the semifinal. The only team Argentina is gonna be again alone. Okay, no, no other team in South America will will make it to the semifinal. I see Argentina going to the semifinals. They're gonna be pretty. It's gonna be a pretty tough team to beat. I don't think that's gonna be that easy for them to just uh, um, be be pushed out like in uh, Spain 1982 when they after they won the championship in um, the um, 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 they were champions of the world in 1978, which is a prediction that I gave when I was little. I don't see that anymore. You know, I think that they're gonna defend that like, like with uh, uh, um, with everything they have, with clothes and teeth and and everything they have is gonna be a tough tournament for them. But I see a lot of players that's gonna be they're gonna be injured, and uh, we're gonna talk about Leo Messi in a little bit. I think that uh, Holland is gonna be one of them. He's a huge contender to win the World Cup. I think that Netherlands is gonna be the team that's gonna be. Uh, behind behind England, we'll see what happens. I think Portugal is gonna have, is gonna have a heck of a tournament. They're gonna do very well. It's gonna be one of the best tournaments I ever play. I think that pay attention to Portugal. It's gonna be a huge huge uh, improvement in the way they play, and they could also win the World Cup. I see Portugal being very strong this 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 next in the next uh, um, uh, World Cup. We'll see what happens. I see Argentina as I said before, and I see England. So those are the four teams that. Are gonna be one of them is gonna be the champion of the World Cup. In my vision, my prediction is that England will take it. But anything can change. Anything can happen. If those four teams become in the semifinal, I mean, unless they, uh, I don't know how. Obviously, nobody knows how the draft is gonna look like. But I think that those four teams are most likely, more or less, the teams that are gonna be killing each other to be the to take the best, the best, the best prize of the tournament, which is the World. Cup 2026. See what happens. Let's talk about two of uh, two of the greatest. Let's talk about uh, first uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is it's, it's, it's not gonna go. It's not gonna go well for him um, as far as like playing another World Cup. I don't know if he's gonna play the uh, Euro Cup, but the World Cup is definitely a big no no. I think I spoke about him last time. When I concentrate on Leo Messi now, Leo Messi is not. I don't see Leo Leo going to the World Cup. I said that many times. Um, to go to the World Cup, I made a video on like what he had to do. For those who doesn't know, I'm also a licensed nutritionist, a kinesiologist, physical therapist, and a strength and conditioning specialist. So I know what it takes. I've done it for many years, and I don't see this guy basically putting the work in terms of like what he needs to do to be there. And I don't blame him. And the guy, they, he he trains. Obviously, he plays for a for a modest team. But I don't see him. I don't see him on uh, um, like capitalizing on things that on modern uh, modern science, you know, and, and taking care of himself. He's got a lot of. I think I guess he takes care of himself, but not the way he has to to be able to play at 39 years, almost 40. I think that uh, um, Leo Messi is gonna start getting a lot of a lot of um, extra loads on his body. 
he's gonna have a lot of a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, injuries that uh, they're becoming like uh, permanent, you know. And they 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 show up once in a while, and they just keep showing up and showing up. I think he's gonna have also a uh, deterioration on the bones. Um, because as you know, he wasn't growth hormone to be able to grow when he when he came to Barcelona. And one way or the other, you know, when you um, alter your growth hormone, I don't care how, you're gonna have a problem later, you know. And I think that uh, his bone um, development, what's uh, um, epimysium, endomysium, perimysium, which are the main bones in the body that um, usually um, cause. Um, uh, uh, that may, may, may the bone growth or may the bone deteriorate will have a will have a problem when uh, um, as he moves along with uh, uh, with his life as he starts aging and I don't see Leo Leo on the workup um, he's gonna start playing less and less every 30 minutes he's gonna be he's gonna have a uh, um, um, a recurring injury and he's gonna keep having it and he's gonna keep having it until he's out 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 of the business that's what I see. That's not what I wish. What I wish is that Leo become um, become strong, become strong and stronger, and he can and he can play the workout. Listen, I'm in New Jersey. Um, half of Argentina knows who I am. I'm sure the guy sees the videos. I don't think he's interested in uh, um, in getting in getting the best of the best. Leo can afford anybody. He could go to um, I don't know. If, uh, first of all, Miami is one of the places that I would never I would never go to do anything. You know. Um, but I'm sure that the guy, the guy's a multimillionaire, probably a billionaire. So he got, he got access to the best, the best things. The guy is probably thinking about enjoying himself, enjoying his kids, enjoying a good meal, enjoying a cup, uh, a glass of wine, and that's the end. And I don't, I who can blame him? I mean, he's, but to me, he's the greatest player of all time. So I don't think that he's interested in anything else. I mean, he's gonna give maybe 10, 20 percent to be able to be there. They ain't gonna be enough. Leo is going to be out of the workup by, by prediction. Destiny can change. And that's what I tell people all the time. Destiny can change. And the guy could be could be on the bench playing 10, 20 minutes. We'll see what happens. As of right now, I don't see that. And that's going to be a big problem for Argentina. Because Argentina without Maradona, without Messi, is absolutely nothing. Um, not nothing, but they don't, they wouldn't they wouldn't be they, they wouldn't they wouldn't be close to what they got when those two guys were playing for uh, for the team. So they're both the same, you know. Maradona have a a, 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 a World Cup and a second place on the tournament, and this guy got the same in Brazil and now here in Qatar. So uh, they're in Qatar. So I don't think that uh, I don't think that that's gonna be more than that. To be honest, um, I I think that's what I said. Argentina 1978 when they won the first World Cup was the best team because a team a team that work, that wins a World Cup has to be a total team. I don't see that still with Argentina. I think they have a lot of uh, they um there are a lot of loopholes still open, but um they can definitely they can definitely become um they can definitely become um strong team when uh, when it comes to uh when it comes to uh playing with a Messi. So that's why I'm putting him in the in the uh, in the top four. So we'll see what happens, but um for sure Messi will. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm seeing. We're gonna keep on working and wishing uh, Leo the best, so he can be there. He says he wants to be there, and hopefully that happens. Let's uh, let's go let's go um, quickly to uh, American football. For those who follow football, American football, I believe that uh, Kansas City Chiefs and and Forty uh, uh, ers will probably take the um, uh, the big prize. They're gonna be one of those two teams are gonna be champions. I'm gonna go again with Kansas City Chiefs. Maybe, maybe 60%, 40% San Francisco. I know for sure that we'll probably uh, play the Super Bowl, and we're gonna leave it there. You know, if that happens, there's gonna be another another prediction that I'm giving that may become accurate. If San Francisco Chiefs, if San Francisco, San Francisco 49ers and Kansas City Chiefs play the final, okay, the final game is gonna be a crazy thing because I said that. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs were gonna um, they, they they were gonna win the Super Bowl last uh, last year and they beat the Eagles and that's coming another another uh, nightmare for all every single team in the league because uh, Mahomes uh, Mahomes so uh, the quarterback of the of, of the of, 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 of the Chiefs it's just a beast and I think he's gonna keep improving and improving but 49ers are strong so let's see what happens my prediction is that those two teams are gonna be in the final and one of them will take it for basketball I'm seeing Spurs and also I'm seeing Boston I think Boston is uh, um, Boston is uh, Celtics are improving a lot I think they're gonna they're gonna have a good shot to get 
to get the uh, championship, but uh, Spurs are Spurs. I think that team's got everything. I think that team's got young players. When it comes to the uh, to the bread and butter, I think they're gonna they're gonna keep um, they're gonna be the ones that that um, surpass every team. I I believe that when it comes to the playoffs, it's gonna be a nightmare. That team. Um, I don't see him losing. I think that team is gonna probably take it again. I'm gonna give 70 and 30, 70% 70 for Spurs and 30% for Boston. Boston is gonna is gonna be is gonna tighten up every every screw, you know, and bolt that they can they can tie up. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a hell of a uh, of play of, of a hell of a playoff uh, playoffs. I'm sorry when it comes to uh to the final um to the final event of the tournament. The NBA is tough. They play a lot of games, you know. It's there are a lot, a lot of injuries. I'm seeing those two teams. Unless somebody gets injured with the Spurs, then I think Boston has a good has a good chance. Uh, Bucks are gonna be there. If I have to put a third team, I'm gonna say Bucks. We'll see what happens. We'll see how everything develops. I just want to thank you uh, for your support the, for the ones that um, speak English and they follow this uh, this channel. I just want to really thank you and let you know that I'm. Definitely um, plugged in. I'm, I'm, I'm super, super thrilled that um, I could do this in English. Actually, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's. Uh, um, I believe that I'm more, I'm more fluid when it comes to explaining things, you know, in English.